or good evening and welcome back to the workshop. Or as one comment has suggested, my name is William, welcome to Baldy Hacks. Thanks. I'm going to diverge from the plans a little bit and make a two part rod and piston head. And so the first thing to do is to get this faced off, which I've just done, and now drill it for uh, reaming to a quarter inch for the rod to fit in. There's the piston head we just uh, faced and reamed out, and here's so some nominal quarter inch brass um, put in there with a bit of Loctite. Uh, when that's cured up, I'll mount this in the collet and then I'll be able to turn the head concentric with the shaft and uh, to the right dimensions. We got this down to, I think, what it roughly needs to be. I think it's basically bang on. We place this over here and it's, it, it wants to go on. So it's, it's really, really marginal. So I'm going to take this down with some wet and dry paper. Here is the piston head and rod. Right, so now I've got a 5 16 by 40 tap. It's time to do the water gauge and steam bush for the boiler. <laughs> You may remember in the previous video, we uh, turned down these wrist pins and uh, yeah, I didn't have dye, which I now have. I really do love using the uh, the hand wheel down here. Um, it just means I don't need to worry really about marks. I mean, I put one on here so I could thread to the right amount, but it just moves the, the carriage the exact distance that you want. And you don't need to faff around with dial indicators or anything. You can just use that. And there we go. There are our two little wrist pins. What you can see in front of you here is a piece of 20 millimeter brass, and I'm gonna use this to make the crankshaft bearing for the engine. Um, I'm gonna be departing a little bit from the published designs, and I wanna quickly show you how. So over here, you can see the crankshaft bearing and the crankshaft bracket. So these two fit together with a screw thread, um, which I'm sure is, is amazing if you have a, a tap and a die for half inch by 32, but I don't. And it seems crazy to buy it just for this one screw thread, so I'm, I'm not going to. Uh, I am instead going to either lock tight or soft solder these together. Um, this big outside flange here um, is, is decorative. There's nothing that registers against it. Um, and so the fact that it will be uh, 20 mil in diameter instead of an inch in diameter um, there's, there's no great shakes there, I don't think. And since I'm going to be loctiting this into this hole, um, rather than trying to figure out a way to bore this hole or something like that, I am going to drill and ream it 3 8 so I may as well make the outside diameter of this part of the bearing also 3 8 
23, so 125 plus 28. So 125 plus crankshaft bearing. It needs a cross-drilled hole in it, um, but that requires me to set up the vise back on the mill table, and I'm uh, not quite ready to do that yet. 